Hey guys, and welcome in our studio in Emmeloord, the Netherlands. My name is Frank Dorof, and I'm a fashion celebrity photographer, but I'm mostly focused on teaching workshops. Now, one of the most important things I always stress to my attendees in the workshops, color. Make sure you use calibrated workflows and make sure that your monitor is correctly calibrated to what you retouch or what you photograph. Because in all honesty, if you shoot something in the studio or on location, you want those colors to appear exactly the same on your monitor, right? Now let's take a look at my setup. We have the Wacom Cintiq 27 inch. Love retouching on that one. And we have the new BenQ SW320. And that's a very special monitor. Now why is it a special monitor? It's a 4K monitor. That means it has a very, very high resolution. It's also Adobe RGB. And you get this really cool hood with it. Now, why is that important? Because it takes out light that falls on your screen, especially in darker areas, but also in lighter areas. If you have light hitting your screen, you can't do a proper adjustment because, well, in the shadows, light will actually make sure that you don't see those shadows. And of course, you want to make sure that you do see those shadows because that's where your detail is. Another thing that's very important and that has, well, all professional BenQ monitors have this, is hardware calibration. Now, calibration is important. You put a little device in front of your monitor and it meters different squares. For example, red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, but it also meters your grayscale, so black to white. And that color analyzer creates a profile called an ICC profile. That profile is handled by the computer and makes sure that the reds are as close to perfect as possible. But this monitor, like many other professional monitors, support hardware calibration. So that means you don't use the profiling all based on software in the computer. You still have an ICC profile, of course, but you actually do most of the calibration inside the monitor. And that gives you way better gradients. So in other words, the small differences between colors, the very nice subtle nuances are much better presented on a monitor that has hardware calibration. Okay, so 4K. Is it just the rage? Do you need 4K? Do you need 5K? Do you need 8K, 16K? Do you need it? Yes and no. If you're a photographer, it can be a problem. And you know me guys, I'm always honest to you guys and I'm not somebody who will just say, oh, it's a great monitor. It is, but I also, also want to teach you guys a little bit about do you need it. So if you're just doing photography, do realize that if you have a 4K monitor and before that you had a full HD monitor, on a full HD monitor, if you zoom in on your images, you will go like this. Vroom. So you will see only the eye of the model. If you do that on a 4K monitor, you will zoom in a little bit less because there's way more resolution. That can be a problem. However, the scaling in modern monitors are, is really good. So that means that you can actually not zoom into 100%, but for example, to 200%. So that's not really a problem. The really cool thing is when you do video editing, because nowadays full HD is no problem at all. If you use Resolve, Premiere or Final Cut X, you can just watch the full resolution preview on that preview area in your editing software. You can still see all your tools and you have plenty of room to move around, so no more scaling artifacts. That's great. If you edit 4K video, you can't of course see it full screen, but you have way less um, scaling artifacts for the very simple reason you're watching it on a much higher resolution screen. And then if you look at the monitor itself, the design, great. But it's not all about the design. What I want you guys to see is actually the desktop. And you see that some icons are appearing a little bit small. Make sure that in your operating system, you now find the zooming options. In Windows, you have a zooming option. In Mac, you have a zooming option. Make sure you use those because otherwise, the letters will be really small. And this is one of the problems of 4K displays. Because you have this insane resolution on a smaller display, like a 32 inch, some manufacturers of plugins are still a little bit slow. So that means that some plugins, if you open them up in Photoshop, will appear incredibly small. So tiny, tiny letters. So you really have to, to look, make sure you have great classes. 
Is that the fault of the monitor? No, of course not. It's the fault of the manufacturer of the plugins. And luckily, a lot of those guys are already working on plugin updates like Topaz, Alien Skin Exposure, um, Imagenomic Portraiture. They all have versions where you actually don't have those small letters anymore, but where you can scale the interface or the letters are adjusted to the high resolution displays. Overall, if you're in the market for a great monitor and you want to make sure that your colors are correct and that you don't have any problems with, for example, scaling artifacts when you're doing video editing, make sure you check out the BenQ monitors. We've been using them for quite some time now and overall they never disappointed me. The thing that surprises me always with BenQ, and this is something that, that that's why I'm one of their ambassadors, is price quality. You can spend a lot of money on monitors. But in the end, you need performance. And performance is really easy measurable. You can just do a calibration and after that you do the so-called proofing of that calibration. And then you get numbers, we call it DE numbers. And there you can see how perfect your monitor is. Why spend 3000 euros for a monitor if you can do it with a lot less? Because the proof of the monitor is very simple in metering. And this monitor did it perfectly. So, over time we will still have to see how it is with color uniformity and degradation of the monitor. But, in all honesty, the BenQs never ever let me down. Great monitors. So check them out, I highly recommend them, especially if you are like me, very picky about your colors. And love high resolution, because it's gorgeous. Thank you so very much for watching guys and see you next time.